biggest thing to understand about the authentic medieval sword and buckler that was used from the 10th century all the way up to the 16th is that it's not used like this, and it's not used to pull away. Instead, it's kept right next to the hilt of the weapon so that the weapon can move around it. And it can be used to punch. It's violent, it's brutal, it's extremely vicious, yet it's elegant, it's systematic. Notice that they're hitting with the back of the sword, the front of the sword, the top, the side, and the whole time the buckler is right out there guarding me, or even staying with my hilt and covering it. So I can thrust, I can hit, I can punch, I can come in, it's not this chop, chop, chop kind of thing. It's a winding. And this weapon will clean parts of the skull off. It will cut into the torso, through the collarbone. It will stab up under the chin, into the brain, into the body. It can hit down in the legs and move all over the place. Extremely vicious and elegant. chopping and hacking soul style of fighting that we see in video games and TV shows, countless Hollywood stunt fights. It's much more visceral, much more methodological. And uh, the men who use these things were highly trained martial artists, the knights, the men in arms. They knew how to use these adroitly, adeptly, with skill and prowess. Yeah, <laughs> I